In one of our previous videos, we looked at how to connect to LED strip, something he still likes to call lead tape. In this video, however, we're going to look at the effects of temperature on that LED strip. However, we all know LEDs don't create any heat. Yeah, you might think that, Gary. They don't create heat in the traditional way that you'd have with a lamp in terms of a lot of heat coming out the front. With LEDs, they get hot and most of that heat comes out of the back. So you'll notice on an LED lamp, it tends to have a sort of heat shrink structure on the back. When you're looking at lead tape, obviously there's still heat comes out the back, but it's spread over quite a large area. Right. So you might not necessarily think it gets hot, but as we'll see today, it does. And what's the problem with the LED strip getting hot? What's the overall effect maybe to that strip? Okay, so manufacturers will typically quote a maximum temperature it can operate in. Okay. Usually it's an ambient temperature, but we're okay. going to explore that a little bit further. Um, but what happens, obviously, if you go above that maximum operating temperature, you can have an LED tape failure. Okay. But, and, and you can install LED tape, it works perfectly fine, but actually if it's operating at a very high temperature beyond where it should be, the light output will decrease in a shorter period of time than, than is intended. So you'd be in the installation, you actually probably wouldn't notice it to the eye, you're in there every day, but you're saying that that light output would be deteriorating rapidly, probably not noticed by the customer themselves. Yeah, or you've, you've installed some lead tape, you come back 12, 18 months later, and it's dim, it's changed colour, there's bits out, bits on. Okay. It, 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 yeah, probably not all goes out, it's just a sort of becomes a bit of a mess. You've got a nice looking setup here, so can you go through and explain what we're going to do in this part of the video? Okay, so what I've done here is I've got a length of uh, Osram uh, Linear Light PowerFlex. Okay. Uh, and this is a lead tape. This takes about 18 watts per meter. Okay. So I've halved a meter in two. Uh, two lengths, I've installed one length in a piece of aluminium extrusion, sometimes you, you like to call profile. Profile, yeah, aluminium profile, yep. Yeah, and the other one's in free air. And what I've done is attach a thermocouple to something called a TC point, which uh, Osram pretty unique in this when it comes to lead tape, is they give you a reference uh, point on the lead tape to measure the temperature. So a lot of manufacturers will just quote an ambient temperature, but ambient, where's that, where's it measured? Ambient in the room, ambient up in the ceiling where the lead tape's installed, ambient under the desk, it's, it's variable. The TC point is a bang, dedicated point on the PCB where you can pick off that temperature. And no doubt you're gonna prove that having the uh, LED strip in free air is gonna be considerably cooler than encasing it in all this metal work. That's what you're gonna prove, yes, Gordon? We'll see. So I'll switch it on. Um, so temperature in here, there, about 18 degrees C. So I said, nice and warm. Yeah. Um, so bring on the power supply, uh, and just let them warm up. Um, and what you'll see, uh, temperature's already rising quite quickly. Right, so and you're uh, measuring the temperature on the actual strip itself? At the, at the strip itself, right on this on this TC point. Yeah. Okay, and which of the two strips are we measuring first? Are we measuring the one in free air or are we measuring the one in the actual? Uh, so the meter at the minute is measuring, uh, what you see on the meter is it's measuring the one in uh, in free air. Okay. So you can see that that's, it's rising quite quickly and it's uh, escalating through there. Uh, and then we're going to compare the difference to see if there's a difference in temperature between between one and the other. So, so what we're saying there is we'll have the ambient temperature as our starting point. We're going to see the rising temperature of the LED strip in free air. And then you're going to be able to compare that to the one that's encased in this profile. Yeah. And um, you'll be able to see the difference between the two. Okay, that'll be interesting. Yeah, so either we can do the maths or I'll just push the button on this temperature meter that does that for you. We'll push the button. We'll push the button, yeah. Okay. In this cold environment, we want to be doing <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, I'm miles away from it. So yeah, yeah, it's uh, still cold over it. So what sort of temperature are we rising up to now? What, what's the meter? Okay, so we're just, uh, we're just, we're going through the 40s. We're heading towards 50. Okay, 50 um, degrees C. Yeah, so it's, it's, yeah, so you say it doesn't get hot. We're already at 50 degrees now. The maximum TC point quoted for this particular lead tape is 75 degrees C. Wow, that, that, that's, that's in, incredibly hot. However, where, where instance where you could install it, where you could naively perhaps install it, where it could get anywhere near 75? Okay, so we're in a yeah, nice open free environment here. There's, there's air wafting around. Um, we'll see now it's just got up to 55 degrees. Wow. So we're 20 degrees away from that um, from that maximum TC point. In a room that is at 18 degrees C, which is parky, yeah. with the lead tape off, I've said it now, it, yeah. with the LED strip off <laughs> the actual <laughs> surface itself, so there's air circulating around it, and we're at a temperature now into yeah, we're, the 50s. we're into the 50s, yeah. So we're, we've got about 20 degrees margin. So, okay, put that into a real life scenario. You've put that in a cornice, 
under some glass. You know, a lot of now extensions have these um, skylights in the middle. Yeah. You've accidentally left your lights on. In the day, yeah. In the day, sun's beating through there, the lead tape's on, and before you know it, you're actually beyond the operating temperature of the LED tape and you start seeing failures. Yeah, uh, yeah, you can. So, can you compare the two then? Because obviously yeah, so the one in case and all this metal works can be absolutely roasting. Uh, Can't uh, touch it, I'd imagine. That, that's stabilised there. Uh, we'll click the click the button. Yeah, and you can see there's a there's getting on between 17 to 18 degrees difference between those. So it's a lot hotter in the actual profile. Is that what you're telling me? No, the one in the air. So <laughs> it's considerably hotter than the one in the profile. <laughs> yeah, the, so, the, yeah. So the one the one in the uh, inside the uh, in the extrusion is yeah sitting at about 38 degrees. So this works as a heat sink, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So that's a, that's a good reason to put it in this not only just for temperature but we'll look at other ways in which you can actually use this to actually improve the installation you're doing as well so you said that one was in free air yeah okay that's that's not really going to happen it might happen in where you've put it around a corner or it's come away from the structure mm. more often than not it's going to be stuck to the surface i think we should repeat this process stick down the uh, led tape and compare it now to the one in the profile we'll do that gary so we've taken our LED strip that was floating in the air, we've taken the back off it and we've stuck it down to the surface. We're now going to measure the temperature of that LED strip and the one in the profile. What do we expect to happen now with that strip stuck down, Gordon? Okay, so we're expecting that the table itself will act as a heat sink okay. and lower that temperature differential, which you know before was over was 17 degrees. Um, so we'll, um, we'll, just, we'll just leap in with our meter here and have a quick check. So you can see the one just stuck to the plywood is now at 47 degrees. Okay and the one stuck in the extrusion is 41 and a half degrees. So it's, it's, it's narrowed that difference to five, five and a bit degrees between them. Okay, that's incredible difference. So we were at 50 odd when we first saw with the LED strip in the, floating in the air. Yes. So is there any other ways in which we can actually measure the temperature of these two strips? Okay, so um, yeah, we're, we're using traditional thermocouples. They are pretty fiddly, especially if you were trying to do that on site. I wouldn't even suggest you try doing it because the TC point's tiny. Um, so a lot of electricians at the minute have these uh, infrared cameras. So we've got this FLIR one, um, which just plugs into the end of an iPhone or uh, Android device. Okay. Uh, depend so useful. So if I just quickly run that over the uh, LED tips and see the, uh, the one in the extrusion uh, sitting about 41, 42 degrees, okay. and then across to the one that's stuck to the bench, and yeah, about uh, 47, 48 degrees. So you can see pretty close to what we measured um, with the with the with the temperature meter. And that was really quick. You, you've picked that up and you pop that on there, and you've got those temperatures. Yeah, not instantly, but pretty pretty fast. Yeah. The problem normally is is where you have a combination of stuck down strip that then comes off maybe to go round a bend or change direction. Will that not create a hot spot? Yeah, well, well, let's have a look because that's that's certainly not recommended. Uh, you know, the general recommendation is when you're going around the corner is you cut the tape and join it with with cables. But let's let's see see that in real life. So we've attached a second piece of LED strip to the bench. This time, we're creating a raised section in the middle to see if we can measure a hot spot in that area. In my time as an electrician, I've seen some awful attempts at getting LED strip round bends. Are we ready to measure the temperature of this one, Gordon? Yeah. So I'll bring in the uh, the, the IR camera again. Um, so look at the at the first the end of the tape where it's nicely stuck down to our solid uh, plywood heatsink, and we'll see that the temperature there is about you know nearly 44 degrees. Okay. Move to the middle of the tape. Uh, where you've created your, your rather nice air gap. I'd say ours is probably more elegant than the ones you've described. Um, but you'll see again, there's a considerable rise in temperature back up to sort of 57 degrees, which was our free air temperature we started with. So what that means, um, you'll often see where those horrendously created corners you mentioned, um, what you'll find there is often the LEDs themselves. We'll, you'll see when they're either gonna fail yeah. or they'll change color. You'll see a completely different color where that hot spot's been. You know, you might not see it for the first six months or first few years, depending on how often that LED tapes move, but that's, that's probably the biggest cause of, of that kind of failure. Okay, let's have a look at now how we attach the actual LED strip to the bench and some tips and do's and don'ts on how to attach it. So let's jump straight into sticking it to the table then, Gordon. Okay, so what we've got on the back of the tape is a 3M uh, tape called VHB, or Very High Bond, and it is a really, uh, you know, really strong uh, adhesive tape, and uh, you, you only really get one chance at it. You peel that backing off, it's going down. 
if you have to get it off again and it's onto something like the aluminium extrusion, you just risk damaging the LED. So okay. there's, a, there's a tip in there. So we're going to stick this, uh, stick one on the bench. Uh, just quickly peel the back off. Did that. I'll put that down. So that's there. I'm just going to bring in some specially prepared builder's dust that we've picked up here, which is probably, I say, got a lot of MDF bits in it. Okay, so what we're saying there is it's super important that you prepare the surface of which you're going to attach your LED strip to before you stick it down. Yeah, well, make sure the surface is clean, right. uh, which I would argue on most sites is incredibly difficult because by the time you've cleaned it and gone back and got it to a you know really clean surface, it, yeah, it could be dust everywhere. So I'll just spread that dust on there. All right. Just uh, do that, give it a... <coughs> didn't lessen the self, don't do that. And then I'll uh, put our other tape uh, down onto the dust surface. Okay. I've done that there, pressed it down. Well, it's held in place. Held really? in place, yeah, it's pretty good, but now I'll try and peel them up. Okay. So, actually get the VAP tape is pretty tough, and then when oh. dust one comes <laughs> easily off. Yeah. And we'll find even when you touch the back, so this one now has got, there's, there's virtually no adhesion left in there, and this one is still reasonably tacky. In this video, we've shown how by attaching LED to a suitable surface, we can really manage the heat that comes from the lead tape, particularly those higher power versions we'll start to see more and more as lead tape becomes incredibly popular. In our next video, we'll look at some of the other advantages of extrusions and some of the design features that allow you to achieve that adds to these advantages.